Hello, 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 and welcome to hopefully another entertaining episode of Create Simple Meals, where you know we only have those three rules. You must have passion, you must have patience, and you must be willing to practice. So, today uh, we're doing a slow cooker barbecue beef, and I'm gonna end up making this into a sandwich. Uh, a couple of things about this. One, I found this, this coffee, cold brew coffee, barbecue sauce at Trader Joe's and I'm like I want to do something with it and I was thinking back and forth of what I'm gonna do and originally I was going to do some sort of chicken then I got to reminiscing about me and my wife we used to go to this restaurant called Togo's and I always get these barbecue beef sandwiches so I said you know what I was at the store today I saw some uh, uh, round steak that was already sliced up I said you know I'm gonna use this I'm gonna put this in the slow cooker and I'm gonna use that to make my uh, barbecue beef sandwiches Real simple, 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 simple uh, recipe. All we're gonna do is taking about just under three pounds of, uh, of a round steak, and we're gonna season it with salt and pepper, nothing but salt and pepper. Then we're gonna slice it uh, kind of thin, and we're gonna add that along with some uh, sliced onion to the slow cooker, and we're gonna let that cook while we're at work tomorrow for about six to eight hours come back shred it up and we're going to make our sandwiches but as always folks please don't forget to subscribe to us if you're on youtube hit that notification bell so you know that we're on please like and follow us on facebook follow us on instagram and do not forget to tap into us on tiktok for this recipe and all other recipes visit createsimplemeals.com email me all your questions comments criticisms that ask me at createsimplemeals.com while you're on there hit that chat button you can talk directly with me and please share this with your friends and your family now i said i'm gonna start uh highlighting more and more of the tools i use a good friend of mine high school classmate we were out camping a couple of about a month or so ago and she mentioned i'll be watching your show and some of that stuff ain't simple i don't know how to use my uh pressure cooker still so I'm going to start detailing more. Now, granted, simple is relative, uh, but I believe 99% of all the, the, the recipes on Crazy Simple Meals are just that simple. We have a couple of them that are a little bit more involved, like the gumbo, but we always give that disclaimer. Now, so I'm going to start going forward and let you know what I'm using. I have a Ninja, uh, you can see they don't, they don't sponsor me for this, Ninja Foodie or whatever. Um, it's a slow cooker, pressure cooker, all in one. We're going to be using this to do our slow cooking. But on those episodes, the next time I do a pressure cooked uh, meal, I will go through that in detail. So enough of this talking. Let's go ahead and start uh, working on the recipe. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to season this up. And y'all know I always keep my salt and pepper together. We're going to season this up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now that's all salted up, only thing we're gonna do now is slice these. Clean up some of that fat that's on there. And when you slice, you want to kind of slice against the uh, the grain. Um, that helps your meat when you're chewing it not be so chewy, especially with beef. And round steak is not one of the more expensive cuts of meat. So as such, you got to do a little bit more to get it tender. All right. So now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and take us an onion. And we're just gonna slice this into some real 
nice fine rings here. Throw that right on in there. All right, now we got all that mixed together. We're gonna go ahead and massage this all in. Get everything a nice little mix. We'll put just a little bit. And then after that, all we're going to do is take this barbecue sauce and we're going to pour that right on there. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you want. Like I said, I'm using this one that I found at Trader Joe's. It seems interesting to me and I said I wanted to try it. Put another glove back on. We're going to massage that all together. And then we're going to slow cook this again while we're at work tomorrow for about six to eight hours. Come back, shred the meat up, and we're going to make our sandwiches. So while we're waiting for this to finish cooking, please don't forget to subscribe to us if you're on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so that you know that we're on. Please like and follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Do not forget to tap into us on TikTok for this show and all previous shows and recipes. Visit CreateSimpleMeals.com. You can email me all your questions, comments, criticisms that ask me at CreateSimpleMeals.com. Hit that chat button while you're there and talk with me directly. And again, remember to share this with your friends and family. We will see you back here in about eight hours to show you the final product. And we are back. So just to recap, folks, um, as you know, we seasoned some uh, round steak, uh, which is a very inexpensive cut of meat, but we seasoned some round steak with just some salt and pepper. And then we uh, sliced it up into thin little strips, added that to the crock pot with a onion that we cut in half and then sliced in very thin uh, half rings, put that in there. And then you dumped a bottle of your favorite uh, barbecue sauce. And we let this slow cook while we were at work for about eight hours. It's already settled down now. Let's go ahead and open this up. So I can see in there. I can give y'all a better look. I'm gonna move this over. And as you can see, the, the meat has, has basically just broke all the way down. All the way down. So it's gonna be a very, very very uh tender sandwich so let's go ahead and give this a taste test get this out of my way and you can serve this if you don't want to make it as a sandwich um this will work go great as a as a uh, main entree and add one of your favorite sides but as i told you i'm reminiscing a uh, way me and the wife who were dating used to go to this uh local sandwich shop uh togo's i call it togo's it might be two goes but Togo's and had a barbecue beef sandwich. So I decided to recreate that in my own way. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. And again, the slow cooker I'm using is uh, the Ninja Foodie. Um, I, I'm not endorsing them. They don't pay me, but I do like this model because it's a slow cooker. It's a pressure cooker. Um, it's a canner and a whole bunch of other things. So I do like this model, but any slow cooker will work. All right, enough of that talk. Let's go ahead and get into this taste test here. Mmm. Mmm. 
I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> I don't have no uh, <laughs> napkins out here, but <laughs> completely flavorful, melt apart, tender. Uh, as, as you see, it was very simple. Y'all saw me yesterday uh, season it up. This morning I got on, plugged up my, my slow cooker, let it cook while I was at work. So as you see, it's a very, very, very simple one, two, three dump meal, one pot. Some you can definitely uh, prepare in advance and it's versatile. So you can, if you make too much, you have sandwiches on Monday with a, with a side of potato salad and a pickle. Um, and then maybe skip on Tuesday or take it for lunch. And then on Wednesday, you can serve it with uh, some mashed potatoes as, as a side. Very, very versatile meal. But as you know, here on Crazy for Meals, we only have three rules and that you must have passion. You must have patience and you must be willing to practice. So until next time, we'll be hopefully bring you another edutaining episode. Remember, if you cannot cook, you can always create. See you back here next week on Create Simple Meals.